The accumulator brake pressure is checked before setting the brakes. If the pressure is in the green area, the accumulator should be able to hold parking brake pressure for 12 hours. If the pressure indication is not in the green arc, use the yellow hydraulic electrical pump to recharge the brake accumulator. When the park brakes are set, a green memo on the engine warning display appears. Notice that the pressure to the main brakes is indicated for each main landing gear. This is yellow hydraulic pressure. The park brake uses the alternate braking system, which is powered by yellow hydraulic pressure. Just before pushback, the parking brakes are released. Set the park brake to off. The park brake is off. Note that the two brake pressure indicators have dropped to zero. During pushback, the nose wheel steering selector located on the nose wheel must be in the towing position. A memo, nose wheel steering disconnect, is displayed in green on the engine warning display, indicating that nose wheel steering is not available. The memo turns amber as soon as one engine is running, as a caution that taxi is possible, but that nose wheel steering is not available. The pushback is completed. With both engines running and nose wheel steering reconnected, the brakes are checked to verify that green normal brakes have taken over and that yellow pressure is at zero on the brake pressure triple indicator. To initiate the test, hold the brakes down and turn off the parking brake. On the brake pressure triple indicator, the brake pressure is at zero, indicating that the normal braking system is in use. Note, if brake pedals are quickly depressed, a brief brake pressure indication appears on the brake pressure triple indicator. During taxi, the ECAM wheel page is automatically displayed. Notice the two green triangles for each gear, indicating that the gear is down and locked. There are two computers called Landing Gear Control and Interface Units, LGCIUs, that provide gear indications and take turns controlling the gear. LGCIU 1 provides indications for the gear panel and for the ECAM wheel page. LGCIU 2 provides indications for the ECAM wheel page only. Its indications are the hash marked triangles. The LGCIUs take turns with the gear operation. They switch over at each gear retraction or when one LGCIU becomes faulty. The green horizontal lines indicate that the gear doors are closed in the normal position. Brake temperature is displayed in green to indicate that it is normal. During taxi, the auto brake is armed at max for takeoff. Set the auto brake to max. The following indications show that the auto brake is armed. On in the selected push button. A message in green on the ECAM wheel page. And auto brake max changes from blue to green on the takeoff configuration message. Normally, the ECAM engine page is displayed during takeoff. However, so that you can see the gear indications during gear retraction, we will display the ECAM wheel page. Retract the landing gear. Once the landing gear lever is in the up position, the auto brake is automatically disengaged. 
on disappears on the Max push button switch, and Auto Brake Max disappears on the ECAM wheel page. Also, the message Landing Gear Control appears, indicating a discrepancy between the gear and the lever position. Watch the ECAM and the landing gear lights. We will point out the changes as they occur. The landing gear doors deflect downward and change to amber to indicate that they are open. At the same time, on the main gear, the braking system automatically brakes the wheels. As the doors close, you will hear in the cockpit the sound of the brake band braking the nose wheels. Then the landing gear retracts. There are two sets of indications which inform the pilot that the landing gear is no longer locked. Red unlock is eliminated in the position indicator lights and the landing gear indicators become red on the ECAM wheel page. On the ECAM wheel page, the gear is retracted and the doors close. On the landing gear panel, the unlocked indications extinguish. Watch the indications as the gear extends. Extend the landing gear. As soon as the handle is down, the ECAM wheel page is automatically displayed. On the ECAM wheel page, the landing gear door indications change from green to amber as the doors open. On the landing gear panel, the unlocked indications turn red to indicate that the gear is unlocked. The landing gear unlocks and descends. On the ECAM wheel page, the landing gear indications are displayed in red. The landing gear extends and locks down. On the ECAM wheel page, the landing gear indications change from red to green and the door indications change from amber to green as the doors close. On the landing gear panel, the unlocked indications extinguish and the landing gear indications become green to indicate that the gear is down and locked. These green dashes appear in flight when the landing gear is extended. They remain displayed until touchdown. They will come on and off during braking according to the anti-skid release order. They indicate that the anti-skid is normal and available. Note, the blue REL indication means released and is a label only. The use of auto brakes is recommended when operating on contaminated runways or in low visibility. For landing today, we will use the auto brake. Set the auto brake to low. The following indications show that the auto brake is armed. On in the selected push button, auto brake low in green on the engine warning display, and auto brake low in green on the ECAM wheel page. Note, on the EWD, the memo Auto Brake Low only appears below 800 feet AGL. We have just touched down. During the landing rollout, extension of the ground spoilers triggers the auto brake. The deceleration light illuminates green when the aircraft deceleration is at least 80% of the selected rate. Auto brake action depends on the rate selected. Low, braking after approximately 4 seconds. Medium, braking after approximately 2 seconds and higher deceleration than in low. Max, immediate braking with max deceleration rate. This mode is only used for takeoff. On the ECAM wheel page, watch the green dashes. They appear during braking indicating that the anti-skid is active. The auto brake can be deselected either using the corresponding push button switch on the auto brake panel 
or by applying sufficient force to one brake pedal in low and medium and to both brake pedals in max. On the ECAM wheel page, check the brake temperature for significant differences and high temperatures. Maintenance action is required if the temperature difference between two brakes on the same gear is greater than 150 degrees and the temperature of any brake is above 600 degrees Celsius or below 60 degrees Celsius. Stopping at the gate, the first action is to set the parking brake on. The park brake is now set. Before releasing the pedals, check the brake pressure indications. Note, setting the parking brake automatically deactivates all other braking modes, any mode using the brake pedals.